Hello and welcome to Engine Adventures review of this 2021 Nissan Kicks. It's been an interesting experience for me. At first, I didn't like the vehicle, but it's really, really grown on me. And for what it is, I think it's actually quite excellent. So it's really small, which that was kind of the first thing that turned me off. And it doesn't have a ton of power and it has a CVT. So those three really got to me at first. But as I started driving it more, I got more used to it and I started to understand what its strong points are. Let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. So check that out. Nothing there covering the engine. This reminds me a lot of my daily driver, which is a 2000 Toyota Echo at the moment. It is just very easy to get to. You can see the coils right there on top. One, two, three, four. And looks like a pretty easy engine to work on. It's fairly basic overall. Plenty of room in there, which is one of the other major benefits of this. It has a ton of good features as well and very safety oriented. So you get the adaptive cruise control. So behind there is all of your radar and stuff like that. And also right up there, an additional camera for the adaptive cruise control. You have surround view cameras. It does have an extra set of driving lights as most Nissans are that way. They're not fog lights because you can't turn them on unless the headlights are on. There's another surround view camera. 17 inch rims. I mean, these are fairly small tires. This is kind of a, a mile per gallon vehicle. You're trying to get the most miles per gallon you can. And I get around 35 when I'm cruising on the freeway. My overall average is closer to about 30. So it's not bad at all but it's not quite as good as my 20 year old daily driver and has about the same amount of space maybe a tiny bit more and about the same amount of power as well so that engine puts out about 121 horsepower and around that with torque as well i'll put those numbers up on the screen here in the back it does have the cargo cover and A decent amount of space back here it does have a spare tire it is just a temporary spare tire it's not full size and there is room down there obviously for a few other tools it does have the anchors here on the sides and the grocery hooks and while it does have spots for three car seats you'll have a hard time getting three car seats in there side by side unless you have some pretty small car seats it does come with the roof rails which is another good feature that being such a small vehicle having the roof rails will help you with the extra cargo management inside you can see this one has a lot of blank switches but it does have the heated steering wheel power windows power mirrors this controls kind of your left screen right here and then the volume and radio controls there and it has a decent amount of features let's try and get to the fuel mileage so average 35.1 and that's just kind of the history of it for the past hour so it does pretty good cruising on the on the freeway around town it could get a little better gas mileage but it's not bad and then on this side you have your cruise control and your hands-free stuff and then the adaptive cruise control for the distance from the car in front of you and as you can see here on the center portion it does have blind spot and lane keep well it's a lane departure warning and it all works really well i haven't had any issues it does the lane departure warning comes on before you cross the line so as you get close to it before you're even crossing it will warn you not a big deal the screen's actually pretty nice and it's a touch screen 
but for the most part I've just been using the steering wheel controls or the knobs here to go through the different music stations and that's about all the screens really used for I mean you can put other stuff up on there but there's no navigation um, you can do the phone call I guess would be another thing and then it does have the audio settings and this Bose personal space thing I haven't quite figured out what it does but supposedly when you're in this wide view it has speakers in here and I didn't really hear much coming out of those speakers but I've read that it might be like a sound uh, canceling sound canceling feature or something but I don't know for sure I can't tell a huge difference when I mess around with that in the sound but like I said it's just it's super basic so you do have heated seats automatic climate control just single zone no problem there you get two separate USB charging ports this is not wireless charging I was hoping it was but at least with my phone it wouldn't charge it and down here you can change the color uh, let me see right there you can see that's orange but it'll go through different colors for your accent lighting I think these orange ones stay orange but there's other lighting and down below that will change and I'll try and get some night shots of that so those are or that rather is the illuminated kick plate on the Nissan kicks for the interior colors down here you have an on off switch so it looks like it's only here on the driver's side but anyway there are like 64 different colors so tons of different ones to go through there really hard to see on camera hopefully that comes through but it really looks like it's only right there on the driver's side i don't see any other spots where the color changes all these stay orange everything else all the dash all that stuff stays the same color and there are no lights back here so it's really just the driver's side footwell that changes color when you push the bottom half of this button when you push the top half it turns it off and then when you push the bottom half it changes the color basic easy to use push to start is right there transmission just reverse neutral drive and low it's a cvt so it doesn't actually have gears this center piece is kind of interesting you can fold that up if you have a taller cup fold it down so you're not dropping stuff all the way down in there or take it out all together not a bad feature there it does have the auto hold feature I think I skipped over that and the electronic parking brake but if you pull up to stoplight or whatever with that on it'll automatically hold it for you so you don't have to keep your foot on the brake I'm really surprised at how small this center console storage is because that thing is much deeper I'll take a look at it from the back but it goes much much deeper than that up here is just the lighting and then all of them and you can set it so the lights don't come on when the doors are open or have it normal so another thing in the mercedes gla is that these did not extend so there was basically like this without the extension even here on this twenty six thousand dollar nissan it extends out so that was kind of another interesting feature to me the back seats fold just lift up on that knob and they are split 60 40. it does have the seat belt clip here to hold the seat belt when you do have it folded keep you from latching it behind the seat power window and a cup holder there and that's about it this thing's really basic so and i do fit in here with not a lot of room so with the three car seats you probably aren't gonna be able to fit them unless they're pretty small and then uh as far as fitting adults it's actually not bad however there are no vents 
in the second row and no additional cup holders you can see how tall this storage is it goes all the way down to the bottom but there's nothing in here so you just have you, know, you can't really see it from back here but you just have it go to like here and the whole rest of that is kind of empty wasted space so nissan could do better by incorporating something in here maybe for storage either a pocket or a drawer or making this one a lot deeper it does have two charging ports here for just usb and yeah that's about it also right now one thing you can see is how far tilted forward the headrests are and it makes it a little bit uncomfortable if you're trying to sit with good posture and i know a lot of people maybe have issues with joints or whatever and this kind of tilts your neck forward and i noticed it a few times with me it wasn't constant but my wife really hated it. She had a hard time with the headrests like that. And that's not unique to this vehicle. So that is very common across many new vehicles. I imagine it's a safety thing. So that when you get in an accident, say you get rear-ended, it's really close to your head to begin with. But it is annoying and it pushes your neck kind of forward and down much more than you'd want it to normally be. Let's go ahead and look at the window sticker. First, right there, 36 highway, 31 city. I'm getting lower than that in the city and about that on the highway, but at 75 miles an hour. So at 35 MPG at 75 miles an hour, I'd say it's doing pretty darn well. You can see there, 1.6 liter dual overhead cam, 16 valve, four cylinder engine. It's pretty decent engine overall. It just doesn't have a lot of power. And then the CVT transmission, and overall, it's pretty well equipped. I'm not gonna read through everything on here. The base price is 21,000, but this one does have a few extra features. So the, the uh, roof spoiler and the crossbars on the roof, and then the exhaust tip, two-tone paint, it's extra 250. Carpeted floor mats, an extra 250. And the illuminated kick plates, 460. You'll get a night shot of that interior electronics package you have the interior ambient lighting that's 20 color and again i'll try and get a night shot of that door pocket lights frameless auto dimming mirror which is nice on the rear view mirror some of the cheaper vehicles don't auto dim but on this one it does and you can see underneath there it's got the universal home link or garage door opener stuff and then this one has a premium package plus plus so for twelve hundred dollars you get the Bose uh, eight speakers with the driver headrest speakers and the amp, the fake leather Primatex appointed seats, heated front seats, heated steering wheel, security system, the cover, and Sirius XM, and the high Wi-Fi hotspot, and then it does have the 17 inch black alloy wheels for 495. So the total, including the destinations, 26,700, and 30 if you're just going bare bones basic 21,900 plus the 1150 destination you're looking at about 23,000 without uh, any of the additional features so not bad it's really priced quite well and like i said all of these safety features the surround view camera the adaptive cruise control all that stuff is just included with it which is very nice uh, for those who are safety oriented or who need those features. Maybe it's a new driver or someone who just prefers to have those things. Uh, this thing is very well equipped for that type of driving. The Nissan Kicks is a very small car and initially it took me a little bit to get used to. It's very budget oriented, but it has a ton of safety features. And it actually drives pretty good, especially once you get up to speed. I mean, we're cruising 75, 80 miles an hour. And the RPM, we're about 2,000 RPM. Gets decent gas mileage. I'm kind of surprised that it's not getting better gas mileage than it does. But it is, there you go, about 35 MPG. Which I've been mostly driving on the freeway so, yeah, it's pretty good. 
Uh, the reason I say I'm surprised it doesn't get better than it does is because I had the Mercedes GLA 250, which was significantly more powerful than this, and it is basically, or it gets basically the same gas mileage that the Nissan Kicks does. It doesn't have a lot of power. When you're trying to get up to speed, it's a little bit painful, but also it's just a very basic vehicle. And like I said, once you get cruising, it's no problem cruising at 75, 80 miles an hour. Adjusting speeds on the freeway, it does that pretty well. But getting up to speed can be a little bit of a struggle on driving around town. It just requires a lot more throttle input and maybe waiting for larger gaps than you normally would between vehicles when merging. The CVT transmission is a little bit different to me. I'm not sure what Nissan's reasoning is, but it might be better efficiency. It might be longer life of the CVT. I'm not sure exactly why they do things the way they do, but it is one that has those false gear shifts. And I, I know I've mentioned that before. I don't like having those in there. It's kind of weird, even on the freeway. It, it'll kind of rev up pretty quick, but it kind of jumps to those points. And then if I wanted to accelerate more, it would jump up even higher. I haven't quite figured out why it does this. It kind of acts like a normal transmission when it is a CVT. And I'll get some more shots in a minute when we're doing that zero to 60 and just other driving. But ultimately it's odd to me, especially with how little power this has. There are times when you just need it to be at peak RPM for extended periods, but it still acts like it shifts gears and it'll drop a few thousand RPM uh, in those simulated gear shifts. Okay, we're gonna do zero 60 just from a dead stop, uh, flat footing it so not brake torquing, and three, two, one, go. So you see how much the RPM drops there? With the CVT. I wish it would kind of just hang out in the highest power range. 60. So that's the one issue. I mean, it's a little bit slow. Thank you for watching Engine Adventures review of this 2021 Nissan Kicks SR. It's a great little vehicle when you take it for what it is. It has a ton of safety features, gets decent gas mileage, and it really isn't too bad of a highway cruiser. Driving around town, still gets pretty good gas mileage, but the CVT and weak engine make it a little bit difficult. You just have to plan a little bit more when you're merging. But overall, I really like this vehicle. It grew on me. Initially, I didn't like it as much, but it really grew on me throughout the week that I had it and really quite enjoyed it, especially for the price tag of $26,000. If you liked what you saw, be sure to hit thumbs up, subscribe, ring the bell so you get notifications when we post new videos, and comment down below. If you didn't like it and you give me a thumbs down, be sure to comment down below and let me know why. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.